nine of the fantasy football season. And here's a few wide receivers. I looked at off the wire this week. The first guy, Rashid Shahid of the New Orleans Saints. So we've seen a lot of flash this season from Shahid. Some big games. And he's the deep ball threat of the same team, obviously. There's games where he's only going to have three, four catches and go for 100 plus yards. And that's exactly what he did in that one in week eight in Indianapolis. Three catches. 153 yards and a touchdown and it takes me back to Devery Henderson a Saint many seasons ago where he pretty much was a deep ball threat and nothing for the Saint team going back to the Drew Brees days over there so anyway Shahid he's the deep threat in this offense with obviously defense is rolling coverage to Chris Olave and Michael Thomas and he's going out there and he's making big plays right now for the Saint team so Shahid if you need a deep ball threat in deeper leagues three receiver leagues or even just a flex option where Barry's coming back up and stuff like that. He's available right now, Shahid, in 64%. He's not going to do it each and every game, but they'll beat some pop games like we saw from him in Week 8 in Indianapolis where he went in that one over 25 fantasy points. Next wide receiver is Brandon Cooks of the Dallas Cowboys. So the first six weeks of the season, Brandon Cooks was non-existent for this Cowboy team. But right now, they're the one 59%. Of fantasy leagues and the last two games he's gone out there and found the end zone week six at the charges four catches 36 yards a touchdown and then the body in week seven and then week eight versus the rams one of his former teams three catches 49 yards in that one and found the end zone so right now it could be a potential shootout here week nine at the philadelphia eagles that give up the second most fantasy points to wide receivers on the season and brandon cooks we know he's a deep ball threat we know he's been a thousand yard receiver throughout his career and this Cowboy team their offense is starting to click Dak Prescott he looked real good in that one obviously versus the Los Angeles Rams in that ball game so right now in a big division matchup and they need his speed to take coverage over the top and we just saw Sam Howell and those guys Jamison Crowder and Jahan Dotson have big ball games versus Philly secondary I think Brandon Cooks could be a decent option and right now available at 59 percent of fantasy league the next wide receiver is Tyler Boyd the Cincinnati Bengals is surprising Boyd's out there in 52% of fantasy leagues. And a lot of people did drop him after the bye week that the Bengals had in week seven. But Tyler Boyd, the last two weeks, he's starting to get things going as well for this Bengals team. Week six versus Seattle, seven catches, 38 yards, a touchdown. And week eight at San Francisco, three catches, 40 yards, and a touchdown. So right now, Joe Burrow, he looks pretty much close to 100%. He's making all the throws once again. And this Bengals team go one and three, a lot of people panicking. And now all of a sudden, a huge victory at the 49 is 31-17 and playing good football. So right now, I know a tough matchup here week nine versus the Buffalo Bills on Sunday Night Football. But right now, he's playing good football, Tyler Boyd. This offense is clicking and is solid by week filling or even injury filling type of player. I like him, especially available in 52% of fantasy weeks. Next receiver is Jake Bobo with the Seattle Seahawks. I know he's the fourth wide receiver on this team behind Metcalf, Lockett. Smith and Jababa, and then you got Bobo, but he's getting opportunity. He's been making some plays, and he had a carry for three yards and a touchdown and two catches, 23 yards. So right now, they're playing a lot of guys is the Seattle team in this offense. In the last two weeks, Bobo's put up numbers. Week seven as well, four catches, 61 yards, and a touchdown. So I know he's out there in tons of leagues, 98%. I know he's the fourth wide receiver, but a guy who's putting up numbers and someone to look at if you want to beat people to the waiver wire to catch a diamond in the rough jake bobo definitely could be that for fantasy owners so right now while he's out there i would give him an ad this week and so i receive his Jahan dotson of the washington commander so dotson finally had that breakout game where he went over 20 fantasy points in week eight versus the eagles eight catches 108 yards and a touchdown 10 targets so right now we saw in that one curtis samuel left the ball game with an injury so right now Jahan dotson maybe in how will finally could get on the same page because obviously it's been a struggle for Dotson the whole season coming into that game only 22 catches 183 yards with a touchdown so pretty much he almost topped that in one game was John Dotson so John Dotson we know is a great talent Sam Howell he's a quarterback that could get the ball down the field and is a gunslinger we've seen it a lot this season and now with the injury to Samuel it might open things up and force feed Dotson a little bit so right now available in 50 percent of fantasy leagues i'm not saying to pick him up and put him in your starting lineup right away but right now he definitely could be a guy that can help fantasy owners in a big way it's a few wide receivers i look to head here in week nine of the fantasy football season